all right thanks for uh, watching the Hobie Predator Hobie 33 Predator video for sale here's a shot of the boat um, I let Mari Pro Juan Mari borrow the boat in 2010 to do the uh, nodes in St. Pete and the Nationals uh, we went through and removed or Juan did um, we removed all the standing rigging all the running rigging and replaced it with all the latest and greatest high-tech stuff um, that a pro sailor thinks the boat needs those sales are the Grand Prix sales sadly they're not included um, I have some shots of the sales but uh, there she is the boat is uh, in the same condition or better actually than when Juan borrowed it and Juan would love to talk to you if you're interested here she is today sitting up on the trailer um, over in Mandeville Louisiana the boat's looking good ready to go um, I'm gonna go through here shortly and tell you more about the boat but you can see her up on the trailer there I bought the boat oh here's an outboard run we'll let you listen to this real quick it's a uh, 2009 six horsepower four stroke to hot um, runs like a champ doing a little run up here the gas tank and fuel line are included the little black plug you see there is for the autopilot um, that's no longer with the boat and you can see the solar vent and here's a full speed run the little white clamp in the back is for a VHF antenna you can see there's a synthetic backstay the two little metal things by the rudder post back there are uh, for the baby if you want to run uh, backstays uh, adjustable backstays or running backstays rather there's a shot looking forward the boat will do about 5.5 five, uh, with the engine running it's got the original winches but other than that Okay, here we go inside the interior. You can see this nice thick cushions I had professionally custom made. Um, they're ultra thick for big guys like me. You can see the uh, that's the spinnaker sheets. They're uh, spliced lightweight spinnaker sheets and the jib sheets. Here's a shot of the number one um, Kevlar Mylar mix tri radial. A shot of the mast. You can see the high eared, uh, has a high exit point for easy jumping. And here's a shot of the jib again. Still looks good. It's got a lot of life left into it. Here's my uh, sun driving. You can see the uh, new Harkin uh, Traveler and main sheet system. New hiking stick. Here's a shot. If you look down in the corner there to the left, you can see the knot meter log, the knot and depth finder, the adjustable out haul. And here we are going to weather. There's a shot. That's the jib hired in the shot there. And I purchased the boat. I'm the third owner of the boat. Was, as far as I know, the boat was kept down in South Florida. So here we are. We're in the water. Um, just taking you forward from the bow, looking down in that collision bulkhead area. to show you there's no water in there. Um, turning around here. So you'll notice right off the bat there's no furniture in this boat. It was removed to replace the, stain, uh, the aluminum stain uh I call them stable uh, shroud blocks, but it's the interface between the uh, chain plate and the deck up there. Um, the furniture was delaminating; it was a uh, real lightweight plywood. So we had went ahead and removed it with the idea of coming back at a later day with some soft furniture or rot-resistant furniture. Those are it's now stainless on stainless. Those blocks were cut are uh, machined out of stainless to match the rest of the stainless, so you won't have a dissimilar metal issue. Here's the other side. You can see the uh, ceiling there is a little bit rough. It could probably use another coat of paint. The liner was removed and the, the ceiling was somewhat sanded down, but it still has a, a rough texture to it, but it, it looks good. There's the hatch, notorious for leaking. The yellow line you see is to hold the spinnaker bag up near the hatch. This is a ding that the uh, owner before me, I believe, did. He didn't have the forward support for the keel support, and he let the keel down, and it bounced in there. There's another little area, but all look like they're thicker than the original layup, and I've had no problem. I've had the boat up to 13 and a half knots, and I've had no water inside the boat. Um, moving your way aft, you can see the two cushions. The quarter boats weren't recovered. Um, if you look up to the left, you're going to see uh, a fixed amount of VHF that I'm throwing in. It needs to be wired up. This is looking aft. The uh, the other other place that the that had a um, that got had some repair done to it that I know about is right here. It's a centerboard trunk, or excuse me, the outboard well, and the outboard um, bounced around in the well. It didn't have the right the donut adjusted correctly, and uh, it it put a little uh, hole in the well back there, which has been epoxied and fiberglassed up. 
um, just well past what the original layup was. So there's the adjustable backstay below the deck. You can see back there it's a little dirty, needs a little uh, TLC, but the boat's in the water. There's nothing uh, coming in. That's a hole for the exhaust, the hose for the exhaust for the outboard. And uh, I don't use it, but I guess on the bigger outboards you can have them exhaust overboard. And there's a shot of the repair right there. You can see the epoxy coming through. It was mixed up with some micro balloons. That's the pink. Um, the boat is stiff. I haven't found any soft spots. The bilge pump you see there and the built-in bilge pump both will come with the boat. The green hose and the blue um, auxiliary hand bilge pump. And that's looking back at the rudder post. No water coming in. This is, you know, the back, very, very back of the boat. I apologize for the shaky camera. There's a good shot of the boat looking at her. I, I sail like that. I keep it very clean. I don't have a lot of stuff. Here's a shot of the trailer. I'm going to go more in depth on the trailer, but essentially it's an older trailer frame with new axles. Uh, the rear axle was placed in 09. All tires are placed in 09. Rear brakes in 09 or new in 09. Um, I went through yesterday and replaced every single bolt in the bunk system. Spent over $100 on bolts and I also got rid of the keel system um, the way it is, the keel support, and I put some pressure treated lumber. Here's a shot of it. This is yesterday. Um, so all new bolts and new lumber. So the trailer is even better than it was. Um, I did that because I didn't like the angle, the steel angle iron. Here she is in the water. You can see the uh, spliced green line is your specker hired, there's your jib hired, all new shackles, quirkily shackles, specker is original with the synthetic uh, bridle tied onto it, there you can see the mount for the knot log and uh, depth finder, it's an ST40 Ray Marine, boom vang, you can see Juan Mari still has his bandage, spin lock rope clutch is new, everything you're looking at is new besides the winches. Um, the boat will come with the man overboard pole and the uh, horseshoe. The man overboard, is not in the man overboard pole is not in the boat. And you can see those tangs in the back for the back stays. But this is the other day. She's so she's uh, she's ready to go. She can do a little buff job, but other than that, I wouldn't change a thing. Um, she's uh, race ready, sail ready, and here we are sailing. You can see the carbon fiber Harkin uh, foil up for front. Um, you can see the knot meters working there, the rope clutches, the deck organizers are harking, I think. Here's the main, looking good. Um, like I said, it's 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 not the top of the line. It's Daycron, but it'll get the job done. It's got plenty of uh, life left in it. It's not a full bat. I made a mistake and said it was a full bat in one of the uh, write-ups. There's the main. The main a, is a double system. You can pull both sheets, and you get a gross adjustment. You do one sheet and get a fine adjustment. There's a new adjustable uh, tiller extension and you can see there's an exhaust fit on the back. Here my son's getting a little demo on the uh, main. First he's got to get back on course. One word uh, traveler car so you don't it's a hark and you don't need to reach down. The jib general tracks are three to one or four to one uh, adjustable cars too. New, You can see the spin blocks they're on there. Again feel free to I know it's kind of jumping around. I don't leave the halyards out like that normally, and normally all the halyards are either off the boat, they're stowed when the boat's down, or they're uh, they're run up the mast with the tails, um, you know, trailed up the mast, so everything's out of the sunlight. And the sails are generally always stored in the AC. Um, they're left on the boat for maybe a week at a time when. I was doing a little bit of racing. All right, here we go. New keel winch. The, like I said, the boat. I've used the boat maybe four or five times. I've done two races with it. Keel winch is new. Um, you can see it goes down fine. The uh, the battery's probably getting a little up there in age and can be replaced. You can see that silver pole is a keel support, um, and it looks like the previous owner, when he didn't have it in, the keel was allowed to go forward and and mess up the keel trunk. Which is professionally, it looks, it's a good job up there. The, um, I always put a bit of silicone around that centerboard trunk just in case. Um, my cap doesn't really have a seal on it, so I put a layer of silicone. Here you go, you can see the boat fits really nice on the trailer. Um, we're going to launch it. I'm launching it by myself. Um, no problems there. The boat, um, if you do a steep launch ramp, you're going to need to put a roller up on the trailer because the boat will come in and bump the, uh, the front of the trailer if you don't. If, if you're not careful. There's been a little bit of damage from that in the past and you can see that. 
Uh, here you go. The motor fires up fine. The smoke you saw is from the outboard next to me. It wasn't mine. And uh, fenders will be included. There's four fenders. And there she goes. If you've ever tried to steer this thing without the keel down, it's it's a lot of fun. So there we are. Okay, this is sitting. You can see the Hobie uh, Viva Las Vegas sit next to me. S Steve, you can talk to Steve about the boat. He's uh, He thinks it's a heck of a deal. There's that little damage I was talking about. It was repaired. Um, this is a little uh, pier rash, marine text. But overall, the boat, I mean, for the age of the boat, it's still got a lot of shine left into it. Here's some shot. Again, all those bolts have been replaced that you're looking at. Um, see, it looks good. Tires have plenty of life left on them. You could tow this boat anywhere, especially uh, now after the upgrades made to the trailer. As far as the bolts and the bearings will be repacked um, and good to go. I had bearing buddies on there and every one of them leaked and slung grease. That's why you see the grease on the wheels. Um, the back of the wheels are fine. This spare tire is actually a spare tire hub assembly and it can also be dropped down to support if you need to roll the boat down a long launch ramp and using a chain or a line. You saw I have a block of wood in the tongue. I don't have my truck wired up um, or didn't have the correct plug to be able to reverse the trailer without the brakes coming on. So that keeps the guys who have surge brakes know what I'm talking about. So here's the other side of the boat. You can see the spinnaker poles fine. All the, the uh, fittings work on that. Um, here's a shot looking down the hall. The hall is smooth and fair. Um, there's only two spots that that I know of that needed TLC, and that's the back of the keel, which almost every hobo that's trailer launch has that problem with the keel sliding back um, when you're launching it. That's been built up with um, Marine Techs and fared out again. And then around that issue, I was talking around the outboard uh, well, that was built up and fared up. You can see new tweaker blocks, um, lifeline cushions. Apologize for the shadows there. The boat was down in South Florida um, originally, and I brought it up to Louisiana, so it spent most of its life that I know of on the Gulf Coast. I don't have documentation, but the person I bought it from seemed um, a straight individual, good guy to deal with. So here you can see the outboard. You can see the foam. That's just uh, foam to help hold the outboard in that uh, support better. And again, I do have the plug that goes in the hull um, for when you're racing, so that lifts up and then the plug goes in. And you can see that was built up with marine techs. And there's a shot. And the cord you see going up in the boat is the run of fan to keep the air going. And the rudder is good to go. Again, the top rudder post was top of the rudder post was replaced with uh, a stainless steel um, tube, so there's no aluminum fittings, uh, aluminum rivets. There, so there she is in the water at the end of uh, 2011. We did a race in October for three days. Um, and this is right before that race. Um, again, she's not reduced in price because there's something wrong with her. She's reduced in price for a quick sale. I've getting tons of emails. What's wrong? What needs to be fixed? The boat's good to go, guys. So um, thanks for watching the video and email if you have any more questions.